Hi there, it's Rico Kovacin here with a video for Natalie's Creative Squad. This time we are on repeat and drawing inspiration from different forms or shapes. I chose to go with a triangle, so it was kind of a natural then to pick the triple play foam stamp set because, well, they are triangles, but also that gave me a lot of different patterns to play with. I also went kind of a classical interpretation of the triangle and went with a love triangle. But let's get started with the background. I started this piece like so many others by collaging. I'm using a clear gesso to adhere some book pages to my white cardstock. I'm just randomly adding them there, no rhyme or reason and cover the whole sheet with the gesso so everything reacts the same way. When I then have the pieces adhered, I then dry the sheet and then continue with some stamping. For my first color I chose this warm yellow and I went through the whole page with the same stamp. It's kind of laying the ground for the layers coming on top. So this is the little detailed kind of rings and circles kind of stamp. I'm just going through the whole sheet and then I'm picking another stamp and another color. In order for those inks not to get mixed, as this is not that absorbing surface anymore, even though it's just a surface, I then used heat tool just in case between the colors. Next, I chose red color and then two or three different stamps. I'm kind of building this Harlequin pattern on top of the first stamped layer. First, I'm going with the kind of flower or tulip shaped stamp and then I'm adding two other patterns. This kind of tribal pattern and then the dots. Or this could be a sunset or a sunrise as well. By choosing such a vibrant color, I then ended up with a sheet that was way too bright for my taste. I should have gone probably with more adult colors, but luckily there's a way for me to alter this vibrant sheet to kind of more toned down version. And that's just so. So after drying the ink again, I then applied a layer of clear gesso on top and mixed in some acrylic paint. I chose this kind of a beige or old paper color acrylic and mixed that with the clear gesso just to make it more translucent because I'm not aiming to paint the whole sheet like with one color again. The pattern can show through a little bit but I need to tone it down. I also added a kind of splashed version of the paint there. First painted a layer with the undiluted paint, added some water splashes, then dried the paint, but the paint underneath the water splashes wouldn't dry as quickly, so I got this blotched look. When I was then happy with my background, I cut it to fit inside my journal and inked around the edges. I then used double-sided tape to adhere the sheet to my journal. Then it was time to add the little characters in place. But these are sitting characters, so they need something to be perched on. They can't be floating in the air. So I needed to make some pedestals. And for that, you guessed it, I used the triangle. I picked up a couple of different patterns and used the same stamp inks I already had going in the background. The pedestals are going to be this darker brown, which I actually didn't use in the background. I was supposed to, but I didn't. And then I was going for yellow, this kind of sunburst, 
patterns with the other stamp, but as I was using it earlier with the red, I didn't clean my stamp, so I ended up with this kind of orange tone sun beams, but it didn't matter. It went with the color scheme anyway. When I then had these stamped, I cut them loose and get them ready to be added in the journal. I ink around the edges and then use double-sided tape and foam tape to mount them in places together with the little vintage dolls. The pedestal parts are mounted with the foam tape so they are a little bit dimensional and then the backdrop like the sun beams they are with double-sided tape. Then I add some letter stickers or word stickers in each one and after that I thought that the page needed a little bit something so I took a black marker and doodled some dots here and there kind of mimicking the same color as the little text stickers. I should have drawn little triangles of course but I only came with that idea now and not when I was doing the page. I wasn't really happy with the page as it was because it seemed to be lacking something from the left side so I took some of the trimmings and added them to the left side along with some dotted lines and a text sticker and that kind of balanced the composition out. So there you have it, my little triangle inspired art journal page with a really vibrant background that needed to be toned down. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll be seeing you in next month with another Nathalie's Creative Squad project. Thank you. Bye.